today our discussion is on culture studies part 7 so far we have discussed six parts from culture studies and we discussed some important questions from this area these questions are expected in the coming exams for net chair of set pgt and dgt and also for college exams Question number one Gender trouble, feminism, and the subversion of identity is a book by Judith Butler, Laura Mulvey, Angela M. Sropi, Adorno. The answer is Judith Butler. She has written the book Gender trouble, feminism, and the subversion of identity. Second question, which book was widely acclaimed as a groundbreaking book due to its revolutionary ideas regarding gender identity and the relations between gender and sex? Option four options are given here. First one, postmodernism and popular culture, gender trouble, fisher, pleasure and narrative cinema. And the last one, epistemology of the closet. The answer is gender trouble. This gender trouble book was widely acclaimed as a groundbreaking book due to its revolutionary ideas regarding gender identity and the relations between gender and sex. <coughs> Question number three, which theory articulates that Gender identity is not a manifestation of intrinsic essence, but rather the product of actions and behaviors, that is, performance. Option A. Reception theory, performative theory of gender, discipline and punish popular culture. The answer is performative theory of gender. That theory articles that performative theory of gender articles that gender identity is not a manifestation of intrinsic essence, but rather the product of actions and behaviors. What is coming out of the performance? That is product of actions and behaviors. That is performance. So it is known as performative theory of gender. Question number four. Which of the following is correct about Judith Butler's books Gender Trouble? <coughs> gender is in fact the predominant cultural agent which operates on the body, tries to re deconstruct the essential nature of gender identity and to expose it as the fabrication that it is. She relies on Michael Foucault's theory presented in Discipline and Punishing. Answer is A and B C that gender is in fact the predominant cultural agent which operates on the body that tries to reconstruct the essential nature of gender identity and to expose it as the fabrication that it is. She relies on Michael Foucault's theory. She is taking some of the ideas from Michael Foucault's uh, book, The Discipline and Punish, because <laughs> she is discussing in that one. Uh, uh, Michael Foucault is discussing in the book that uh, it is not soul that is marked instead it is the body of the uh, people who are being jailed who are in the prison that is there marked on their body than on soul so the same way uh, Judith Butler says that what is deciding the gender that is the performance of a person performance and actions that is performative theory she has made or put forth put forward question number five which one is an accurate cultural social category according to judith butler by these questions you will be understanding very clearly why she is uh, sticking on the performance theory that the uh, options are gender, sex, masculinity, performance. 
the answer is gender that which is which one is an acquired cultural social category according to judith butler that acquired one one is having acquiring a cultural social category or trait that is gender instead when we are talking about sex it is a natural acquisition it is not a deliber deliberately getting one acquiring this acquire one acquired one it is gender question number 6 the importance of the culture in the in the spiritual constitution of the masses is no dispensation for reflection on its objective legitimation its essential being list of all by a science which thinks itself pragmatic this quote is taken from given options uh, theodor adorno culture industry reconsidered it was published 1963 official plus narrative cinema uh, encoding decoding from culture media language that is written by stuart hall modernity an incomplete project I think it is Habermas that is uh, written by it is written by Habermas. The answer is this area, this portion of the sentence is taken from uh, Theodor Adorno, uh, Culture Industry Considered, which was published in 1963. From this book, it is taken the above mentioned sentence. Question number seven, which I say argues that there needs to be new film. strategies that will incorporate many feminist methods to send to end the male centric hollywood films scenario that provides narrative pleasure to men only so through the questions itself you will understand that it is related to feministic theory because the produced films are mostly uh, meant to uh create pressure for men so she is talking about this one the first one option given visual pressure and narrative cinema postmodernism and popular culture gender trouble epistemology of the cross the answer is visual pressure and narrative cinema the option itself showing that uh, it is talking about cinema so that holy hollywood films scenario that provides narrative pressure to male or men only it is showing question number 8 laura malve is a british film theorist and feminist feminist anthropologist cultural theorist laura malve is a british film theorist and feminist and uh, she is a teacher and uh, she is writing the screen one of the best and world acclaimed journal screen related to film and uh, uh, she has written this one uh, the book's name already we discussed that is visual pressure and narrative cinema that is written by british film theorist and feminist laura malvey question number 9 visual pressure and narrative cinema is an essay written by laura malvey question number 10 cartographies cartographies of diaspora contesting identities a book it is a book by and uh, it is a post colonial book it is talking about politics race culture and the book is uh, the given options are after bra after bra raymond williams laura malvey stuart hall the answer is after bra thank you friends for watching this one and uh, in the coming one also we are going to have more discussion on culture studies do not forget to subscribe this channel it is very useful for you the questions most of the question will be asked in the coming exam i'm sure about that